If you want to learn more about the Holev 13.3 inch LCD monitor, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com here, and this will be a comprehensive review of the Holev 13.3 LCD monitor. Here it is um, right out of the box. It's got two speakers in the back. And if we take a closer look, we can see some of the connections here, including the DCN, the VGA, HDMI, some video. If you do a review here, it looks like they'll send you a gift. Hopefully I'll get mine. Here's the VGA cable. I won't be using that. Here's the HDMI cable that comes with it. Here's a simple remote. It looks a lot like uh, some of the generic remotes that you get with the LCD. Here's the mount. At first I couldn't figure out how to connect it. These are some BNC cables and Here's the power supply. It's a 12 volt, two amp standard power supply. All right, now let's go ahead and get this connected. I found that if you unscrew the mount, it comes apart and then you can reassemble it over the mount. And then you just screw this back on. And then you just slide that up and then you tighten that up and adjust it accordingly. And uh, it works out pretty well. Now I added the base adhesive here. And I guess if you wanted to stick this to something else, you can just peel this off. But uh, I didn't want to stick it to anything else. So I just put it back on. Let's get this plugged in. Starts off with the logo. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my camera and see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and take out the plastic. And then once I switched it over to HDMI, I could see the camera. So that was a pretty quick test. It looks nice and sharp. It's hard to tell with the, with the video. Since I saw that it had an option to view some files, I connected my USB thumb drive to this to see if I can open up some files, but I realized that it doesn't support EXFAT. Uh, I just re also realized I need to take this off. So I took off the protector there and none of the videos or photos or music that I loaded on here was working. So I took that out took it back to my computer and reformatted it as MS-DOS FAT, F-A-T. Uh, make sure it's not EX FAT. And then once I put some files on there and plugged it back in, which goes on the bottom, it basically acts as a pretty large um, display for like videos. So <laughs> this is a new kids on the block video that I imported as a H264 from a VHS tape. I think this is from 1991. Um, so it's going to play it in 16 by nine format, but you can also show it in the um, native aspect ratio. And I'll show that later on in the settings. But as I turn up the volume, you can hear that uh, the speakers aren't as, um, they're not that great. Yeah, that's what I thought. So to test, that, to test out the speakers, I'll go ahead and play some music here. This is by DJ Quads. You can use a remote to fast forward or skip to the next song. Let's check out a photo. I only put one picture here. Uh, there's a picture of my son. 
It looks a lot better in person because in this video it looks a little bit on the yellow side. All right, now let's see if I can connect my video camera to this because I saw that I had a BNC connection. So I'm gonna try my SDI connector here. The only thing I realized when going through these settings is that when I'm switching this over to the SDI output, I also didn't switch it to um, from 4K to 1080p. So that might be the reason why it's not showing up on this uh, monitor. Which is okay because uh, I'm not going to be using this with uh, SDI anyways. I also didn't test the VGA. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my HDMI cable over to my security camera system. It's a Hike Vision NVR and it worked perfectly. So you can see my multiple cameras here. Got one, two, three, four, five connected. This is my car port. And I'm just testing out the features here. So I'm using my mouse connected to this. NVR and uh, controlling the PTZ camera, which is pan, tilt, zoom. And the response rate is pretty good. Here I am zooming into this uh, fire lane sign and zooming out. Pretty great system, supports um, this hike vision security system, also supports uh, auto tracking, you'll see in the bottom left. It picked up my neighbor and starts to follow him around automatically. Uh, it tends to zoom in on human subjects and license plates. Pretty handy if you want to turn this into the police for any reason. All right, the next thing I wanted to test is the HDMI output of my RetroPie system. It's connected via 720p at 60 hertz. And what's really cool is that uh, the system supports classic arcade games from Atari to Coinop Arcade to Commodore 64, um, you name it, Sega systems, Game Boy, Nintendo, There's some classic arcades. It's pretty cool. It's all emulated into this uh, Raspberry Pi. So once it's loaded, I can kind of switch through and pick what systems. I've got them all organized in my favorites here and can kind of scroll through and take a look at all these games. The video looks really good on this monitor. The only thing that I wish was a little bit better were the speakers. So let's uh, test that out and I'll turn up the volume. This was a favorite game of mine back in the day. Now I'm kind of watching at an angle because there's some glare and it was hard to see. So I'm just really mostly just testing the sound here. So I'm just scrolling through the games, checking what, uh, checking out what it looks like. There's uh, hundreds of games on here, so I'm just not going to go through them all. Oh, here's another favorite of mine, Street Fighter 2. And of course, who can forget uh, Super Mario? Zaxxon and the ColecoVision. All right, let's... Uh, Test out my mini PC here. So I connected it to the um, HDMI port. I've got a handy portable keyboard here. And this is a nice little setup if you wanted to connect this to a security camera system. So let me go ahead and just log into my computer. And then I'll go ahead and boot up my security system software, which is IVMS 4200 for the Hike Vision NVR. It looks like my Windows 10 upgraded to the latest version of Microsoft Edge. All right, so here's my security NVR software that's running on this little mini PC. 
Again, it looks pretty good, just like it was when it was connected directly to the NVR. So I can keep this in my office and instead of having to switch over to the app on my Mac, I can keep it running. Now I loaded this little cartoon here to kind of show the resolution because this, this is in 1080p and watching it at full screen, this is pretty sharp. I was really impressed with the colors that comes out of this monitor. Now it was so sharp, it's kind of hard to tell in this video. Uh, I think even if you're watching this at 4K, but uh, the colors are really good here. Let me zoom in a bit. I think my, my son calls him Big Chungus. So I don't have it turned up all the way. Uh, you can tell that the speakers are a little bit on the teeny side, but that's okay. I'm going to mostly use this for a uh, security camera system, not, not for entertainment. Let's go through the uh, settings here and the menu. So starting off with video, there's some different uh, picture settings. And basically what it does, it just kind of scrolls through and, and uh, adjusts the brightness, contrast, and color accordingly. What I wanted to do is turn down the sharpness because it was just way too sharp. So there's warm user for the color temperature and let's check out the advanced control. Let's go back out our advanced control. There's noise reduction, low, and then you can adjust the backlight. I'm not sure what DCR is or DCC, um, but it didn't really have much of an effect on the video. Maybe a little bit of contrast on this DCC. Let's head over to the next menu item, which is audio. So there's standard, music, speech, and personal. I thought this was funny. It had virtual surround sound. It really did make a difference. So I just turned it off. I couldn't access that uh, satellite dish menu, but uh, if I go to the next one, which is settings, you can see the menu. Uh, here's the picture format, where it's four by three. Uh, you can zoom in and then a second level of zoom, which is scanning, but I left it at 16 by nine. You can adjust the menu timeout from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And uh, I like this menu transparency. Uh, it looks good at low. And there's a different power on status and you can su su support the blue screen and uh, adjust the time so you can put a sleep timer or a power timer on this and the last one was a child lock you can put a password to this to lock it so this concludes my review of the 13.3 inch monitor if you found this helpful please hit that subscribe button on the way out and thanks for watching yeah.